Okay guys, so I am going to demonstrate how to do finger coils. And right now, we're gonna do them on my daughter Nyla. Right now she has in these really old and raggedy feeding braids that she's had. So I'm gonna get ready to give her a fresh shampoo and I'll be back once I get done shampooing and conditioning her hair. Okay guys, so this is her hair after a fresh shampoo. So as you can see, it's moisturized and it's soft to the touch. Um, we trimmed her, well I trimmed her rather. <laughs> I trimmed her before Christmas when we straightened in and did a bunch of treatments. And the products we're going to use are um, I'm going to use this Cantu Shea Butter Natural Define and Shine uh, Custard, which is, it has a really good hold to it, kind of like gel, but not as crunchy. Um, I'm going to use this Curl Activating Cream. I already went ahead and mixed some of the cream and the custard together. Um, I'm not going to use this mousse. I had that earlier from a client from earlier, but if you want to you can use mousse this is just a leave-in conditioner um shea moisture shine mist for when we're done i'm using this afrogy keratin and green tea reconstructor to put protein back in her hair um this total repair five extraordinary oil by l'oreal this actually works pretty good this is my wave nouveau I mean, not Wave New, but S Curl No Drip Activator and water mixed together. And this is just a plain spray bottle with water because the hair does have to be damp in order to um, do the finger coils. This is the Wild Growth Hair Oil that I always talk about in my videos. And of course, we have combs and clips. So just stay tuned. And then I'll be back to show you how I finger coil her hair and it is best to do it on this type of texture um which is basically a loose curl pattern versus like a four when you get to the fours like a 4a 4b um it really doesn't work on our type of hair texture um that's where i am but this type of hair texture it works pretty well with finger coiling so just stay tuned and i'll be back to show you guys how i do that Okay, so, so far with her finger coils, what I am doing is the bricklay, meaning that you, for instance, you see how this naturally falls. We have the parts. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you have a twist fall within each gap. A twist will fall which, within each gap. That's the bricklay method. So for this one, I have to redo it. A piece of hair got out. So if the hair starts to dry up, that's where the water comes in handy. Just spritz it with a little bit of water, finger comb it. And to start the finger coils, what you wanna do is hold it at the root and start to twist. Pull it down and start to twist. Mm -hmm. and keep going all the way to the end and that will cr create the finger coil don't worry about the residue of the product it'll dry up as time goes so let's do another one so again it's a gap right here so part the hair between there because we want this twist to fall in that gap hold your head up right now and you're going to finger comb the hair again, grab the root, then start to twist. And this style doesn't take that long to do. It takes like 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. And you just keep holding it as you're twisting down to keep the form. And there you go. Let's do finish this row. And then I'll... Uh, show you guys the end results. Finger comb the hair. Remember, if the hair gets dry 
and I'll show you how I actually do it up here with this dry hair. Is it still in, Josh? Mm hmm Okay. So we're gonna finger comb it. Grab it at the root again. And start to twist. And I actually didn't end up using that leave-in cream that I showed you guys earlier, because I had forgot. Um, the Cantu products tend to not work with other hairlines it'll cause it to flake up really bad. So I had remembered it and then just chose to lift it off, leave it off. Turn that light back on for me. Thank you. So the only thing I did was spray it with that Afrogy uh, reconstructor and I applied a little bit of that L'Oreal uh, hair oil. And as you can see, these down here started to dry up. So you see the residue is gone. So basically, with this up here, that's why you keep the spray bottle because our hair is starting to get dry. So you spray it. Spray it with some water. Make a part. It doesn't have to be too perfect. And that out of the way and from there just apply the Cantu cream and that custard which is the gel that gives the hope and then from there you're going to comb it through start at the ends and I'm using the dimming brush Take the clip and that will stuck. And you will start the process all over again. We're going to part it right here to get that twist to fall within that gap. Finger comb it, hold it at the root, and twist. And come on this side, Josh. Okay, so this twist ended up getting combed out for me just combing it out. So when this happens, don't worry about it. Just grab it at the root again. And it's an easy fix. So if you accidentally comb a twist when you're combing out the hair that's not done, just retwist it. And I will be back to show you guys the finished product. All right, so here is the finished product. Go ahead and turn it on. There you go.